What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a Mutt25 video. I'm going to give you all the information that was released and if you haven't read it already and you haven't seen it anywhere else, I'm going to go ahead and try, try and hook you guys up to let you guys know what's going on. So, first off, they released a playbook, which is, you know, little bits of information. They didn't release much, but I'm going to go ahead and start going over it. They are bringing back chemistry to your team. Um, the way you build your team, either, you know, the run game, passing game, or you want to build your team up around defense, you know, every little thing that you do will either help your team or destroy your team, you know. So if you want to go with Aaron Rodgers, a good um, deep throwing quarterback, you want a burner at receiver that will get down the field. But when you make your team better and do all those little things, you will unlock a lot of team bonuses. So I'm probably thinking, you know, just I don't know, you might unlock maybe cards or and. It'd probably be like coin bonuses, so I'll, you know you could probably be seeing that. But um, a lot of people are upset that they're bringing back chem chemistry. I'm actually kind of happy because people would just stack their team up and make it 99. But if you can like if you have all the best players and you put them all together, you still might not have a 99, which is pretty cool to me actually. And your team might not work as well, you know, like the timing patterns and stuff. To me, I think it's just so much better. I'm actually kind of glad they brought back chemistry, so I'm not too mad like everyone else. But uh, I think it's a good thing to bring back. But um, And then they're in introducing a new thing called head-to-head -head season mode. Um, I have no idea. I, have, I really know nothing about it. Evidently, I hear FIFA has something like that, and that's like the big selling point in FIFA. Um, what they just what they wrote about it, it's a 10 game season that has an 18 playoff. Um, the rewards increase whenever you keep on advancing into the playoffs, so you get more coins, most likely. Well, actually, you see on the screen, you do get more coins as you advance, so. That's another cool thing that when you keep on advancing, you get more coins. You're not getting that many, you know, not that much coins, though, from the look of it. I mean, a th 500 coins, 1,000 coins, 1,500 coins, but there it also says one pack. So maybe it means like a uh, all-pro pack or something like that, which we'll get the packs in a couple minutes. But um, I think this is a pretty good idea. I can't wait to... Start playing this. It seems kind of fun. I've never really... I've never played FIFA, so I have no idea, nothing about it. But my next topic is the pack prices. Now, <laughs> I know no one's going to be happy about this, because I sure the hell ain't. So I don't know if anyone else is. But right here, you can see they had this picture up, and they took it down so quick. An all-pro pack. This is for Xbox. 240 Microsoft points. And 15,000 coins. Okay. 15,000 coins for an all pro pack. Are you serious? And it says over in the corner. Contains at least three. Probably players. Or three legendary players. And a mix of seven. Probably regular player and team items. I mean, okay, they put legendary players in all pro packs, but you go and look down, all the bundles, it says you can't buy a bundle with coins. Now, I don't know if that's like, you know, that's the final version. I hope not. You know, a lot of people hope not, <laughs> because if they decide to keep it that way, that's going to be one of the worst, worst business decisions ever. I mean, oh my god. Because right there, just, they're just saying 1,600 Microsoft points. Twenty, That's 20 bucks. 4,000 Microsoft points. That's $50. <clears throat> I mean, honestly. Come on now. Are they really that much money hungry to do that? You know, I honestly hope they don't 
I hope this isn't the final version of the game when it comes out in August. Because they're going to... Oh my god. Because you got to sit there and keep on pulling all pro packs. One pro pack, one pro pack, one all pro pack, one all pro pack. And you see up there you got rookie packs, premium packs. I wonder what those are. Probably like a higher chance of better players. And then you got legend packs. And then over there in the corner it looks like pro packs. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. I don't know why they're doing this. Um, to me, it's one of the worst ideas they can do. So hopefully they change that because if so, I'm going to be playing NCAA. I'm not going to be worried about Madden. NCAA looks way much better. Hopefully they don't implement this into Infight. Uh, I don't know. It's the worst. I think it's one of the worst decisions ever they could ever do. I really hope they change it, or I'm not going to be playing it. Because I'm not going to spend my hard-earned money on this all the time. I mean, I can see it here and there, but, you know, not all the time. But, um, the last thing I want to talk about <laughs> is draft duels. Let me go to the tweet that they tweeted. Someone asked, because they did not mention anything about draft duels in the article. So, let's see. Someone asked, um, what, where's Draft Duels? Will it be coming back this Madden? The development team uncovered an issue with Draft Duels that was not able to be resolved. As a result, Draft Duels will be retired. All unopened draft packs have been converted to flash, flashback award packs. Really? Really? I mean, come on now. Are you serious? If you knew it wasn't coming back in this game for Madden 25, then how come you can't tell us this in January when everyone kept asking about it? How come you couldn't tell us in February? Hell, how come you couldn't tell us last month? I mean, all we ever wanted was an answer for the, for the community, you know? Like, oh my god. I don't understand what could be that big of a problem that they can't fix. That, that, that they can't fix and put it in the game. I mean, honestly, if you can't fix a simple problem, how do you expect to go anywhere with this game? <clears throat> I mean, I heard, I heard multiple things of it kept fro freezing your system or it, would, it wouldn't give you the packs that you'd get if people quit out the game. I mean, come on. You can't fix those kind of... I mean, I'm not a developer or anything, but you really can't fix those type of problems. Then why are you even working for? I don't know. I'm just ranting right now. I, oh, I was just really upset when I read that. I was at work. I was on break. I was going through my timeline. And I was trying to find something about Ultimate Team news. And I seen that. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I really thought that they were going to make that their selling point of Mutt 25 and Madden 25. I don't know. I'm pretty upset about it. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all this, all this news. Um, it's, I mean, it's, they didn't release that much, but they're going to be releasing more in the coming weeks. So hopefully with those whole packs and everything, they change it up. Because I'm sure in the hell I'm not going to be buying no packs for money. Bundles. That's ridiculous. But let me know in the comments below and look forward to tomorrow's video where I go in de uh, depth about my giveaway for... NCAA and Madden in my live stream. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all this business. And that's about it, guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.